that you have lied. Not you. This is not about you ever get disconnected. And in darkness. Get what? Because if you want to move from darkness and understand what light is all about, you don't want to go back in that darkness. Huh? You don't want to miss that TV. Huh? Once you see the sweetness, you want to stay connected. I'm just stay speaking the truth. They said to proclaim the truth. So I'm just speaking the truth. But before we get into the word, let us pray. The kind of loving Father, you see, Jonah, like Jonah, I wanted to run away, but I'm here. Let not I deceive you, Lord, let not my words be spoken. But please, O oh Lord, I pray, dear Lord, that you speak through me today. I beg, dear Lord, that I also will get a message first, so that your people will be feast upon your word. And receive something that will help us, dear Lord, to make it a dear kingdom. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, as you can see, I'm talking about what? Getting what? Connected. And staying connected. And also, I'm talking about proclaiming the truth. But though that is your team, my topic now is what am I connected to? What did I say my team? My topic is? What am I connected to? You know, this is a question for each individual. It says what? What am I? I could turn it around and say, what are you connected to? And then after you ask yourself that question, you have to ask another question, which is, will it be worth it? Will it be worth it? So after we ask ourselves, what am I connected to? Is this thing that I'm connected to, our person that I'm connected to, Will he, will it, or will it all worthy? it? Seems steady in at this first time. Turn my clock. It's lunchtime. <laughs> See, my phone wants to get a bit of the connection. It is important to know what we're connected to. So what I want you to do, do you have your Bibles with you? Yes. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to Genesis chapter 1, reading 26 and 27. Before we get into the message, we have to understand connectivity. Before we even read it, I want to let you know the definition of connect connection. It says that connection is having a relationship with a person or thing and link associated with it. It's having a relationship with a person or a thing and having close association to it. Now, are you there at Genesis chapter 1? Yes. 26 read and says what? And God said what? Let us make man in what? After what? Let them have who? Over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the who? And over all the Earth. over all the what? Earth. And over every creeping that creepeth up on the Earth. And then 27 says, here is where I want you to look at. I want you to really read into this. He says, So God created man in his image. In his image. In the image of God created he who? Male and what? Amen. Question to you, Lord. Do we still have male and females today? Yes. I said no. I'm going to ask again because maybe that person was sleeping. Do we still have males and females today? Yes. Remember the team, you know, the team is talking about what? Get what? What I'm trying to show you is I'm taking us back into time to show us our connection with God. Here, God created who? Man and and he, just, he didn't just create them. No. He didn't just create them like that. He created them in his own image. Meaning that we're connected to God. He made us to be connected to himself. Because he said that we were in his image. So therefore, it is saying that you and I are a reflection of and that, my friend, 
It's not a bridge, it's a direct connection. God had a direct connection with the main man. What I said he had? A direct what? Connection. His intention was for us to stay connected to him. But I tell you, Isaiah 50, 59 and verse 2 tell us about what happens when you get disconnected and what causes us to lose the direct connection. Isaiah 59 and verse 2 says, But your iniquities are separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not so what had happened now, God had an intention for us to have a permanent connection with him. But guess what? S-I-N came in and disconnect our direct connection. Therefore, it means that we lose the turn of the light. Somebody just turn off this light for me. Just turn off this light. So when sin came in, the light turned off. Turn off the light. Come. Before sin, we had? We couldn't see clearly. But because of sin, turn off the light when sin came in. We're just showing an illustration. So the light is turned off. We lose our connection. We are now disconnected. And guess what? Only one person, only two persons in them cause the sin. Two persons. And because the two persons created this disconnection. Because Romans 3 and verse 23, if you don't believe me, that these two persons who did it, let us all fall into the trap of being what? Disconnected, losing our direct connection. Romans 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the moment I don't think you understand the seriousness of this disconnection. The moment that sin came in and disconnected our straight connection to God Himself means that we mar His image. Right? It means, therefore, that God should put us to death immediately. And if you don't believe me, Romans 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is what? Death. Now we're not going to read the next part as yet. The wages of sin is what? Death. So this connection, this disconnection that came in and cut off our direct relationship with God himself should lead us to what? So that means we are walking there. Because we all should have? Death. We're talking about our topic is what? Get connected, stay connected, proclaiming the word. Am I speaking the truth? Yes. You see, now that we understand that we have lost our straight connection with God, plan B had to come in place. Because if it is that we're still living, it means that grace stepped in. Amen. It means that grace what? Because when you lose your connection, you now you're in total what? Darkness. And when you're in darkness, can you see? No. That's why we could skip to our text today, which says that Jesus is saying that I am the what? Way. I am the what? Truth. And I am the? Life. And the what? Life. Way. The what? Truth. And the? Life. Let us turn to John 15, reading from 5 to 6. A matter of fact, before we reach there, I want to tell you that Jesus can say that he is the way, the truth, and the life because he had made a great sacrifice so that all of us could get some reconnection. We were all condemned to death. We were disconnected from our true connection to God himself. Because he said, no man has seen the Father yet true. Because if you go through Jesus, we know you can't see it. So that means now that we are going through Jesus in order to get connected to who? God him? Yes. But in the beginning, weren't we made in his likeness and in his image? Yes. 
We are true connection, but we got disconnected because of S I. Now what is that word? And what sin does it turn out there? And put us where? And no one tells us that we should have because the way this of sin is. But thank God for. Are you there, John? Chapter 15. And we go down to verse 5 and it says that I am dead. I am dead. You see, what happened now is that God is who we should get connected to. Right? And now he's showing us that he is dead. Now we should be dead. We should be what? Then he continues to say that he abided in me and I in him. He said, bring it forth. Much what? For without me, he can do nothing. Without me, he can do nothing. So therefore, we are walking dead. And because of John.